Crossing! Mother fucking son of a What's up guys? I am here in the Tarantula Collective. I uh, was just filming a video. As you can see, I got everything set up over here behind me. I'm feeling a little weird at the moment. It was a, uh, a video about the Arizona Bark Scorpion and Desert Bark Scorpion. Both of those I recently received from Nate at Micro Wilderness and I set up their enclosures right here. So this is the Arizona Bark enclosure and this is the Texas Bark Scorpion. And if you look right up there, uh, you can kind of see one, but I had everything set up. I got everybody moved in and everything was looking good. And then I noticed that the Arizona bark scorpions were getting in behind their foam background. I was just using like the ones that come with an exoterra enclosure and I, everything was going really well, but they were getting back behind it. And I didn't like that because I knew that they would kind of get stuck back there. And so what I decided to do, which I've done in other enclosures before, is I just kind of put this, this sphagnum moss up along the top and that's enough to kind of block them from getting in. But as I was doing that for the text, bark scorpions, no problem. I went to do it with the Arizona bark scorpions, but I had to fish some of them out from behind. I got them all out from behind and into the actual enclosure and I was shoving all the sphagnum moss back behind there. And one of them had climbed back up the backdrop and kind of was up in that upper corner. I didn't see it. And as I was shoving the stuff in there, he just came out, bam, and tagged me right on my finger. Mother uh, this happened about two minutes ago. Initially, I screamed a couple of curse words because I hurt really bad. <laughs> I felt like a, a hot needle just got shoved into my finger and I knew exactly what had happened. Kind of shook it off. It didn't even move. It just stung me in and, and curled back up. So right now I've got, it's more tingling than anything, uh, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, it hurt initially uh, for about two minutes and then it now it's just kind of pins and needles. It's numb. Uh, I can feel it kind of, I don't know how to show you this. There. Got me right here, and I can kind of feel it coming all the way up this muscle. Uh, all this is kind of tight, and this is just tingling like pins and needles. It's kind of weird feeling. <laughs> it's a, a little sore, but that's about it. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Uh, the pain has subsided. It just feels like somebody shot Novocaine into my finger. It's very much that pins and needles feeling. This is about all the mobility I have. It was a little bit less about five minutes ago, but I can feel the pins and needles starting to go away, but the pain's starting to come back and I can feel it again, just kind of shooting all the way up my arm here, just right through that muscle, which is very weird, but I guess it's all connected. But I got a Zoom call I got to do. So I'm going to hop on that real quick and then we'll come and update in another 10 minutes, see how things are going. I just got off a conference call with a very cool company about some possible merch in the future. Hoping to launch a beard oil line, but uh, the place is a mess. I'm in the middle of doing a photo shoot for Tarantula Cribs. It's kind of uh, screwed everything up, but it still, it's actually hurting more now. So I'm going to just set this camera down for a second. It stung me here. I don't know if you can see it like right there and I can feel pins and needles coming all the way down and then through this muscle all the way to my elbow. So this muscle here is just really stiff and tight, kind of feels like it's constricting, but it's not spasming at all. It's just a very stiff feeling and a little bit of pins and needles. My finger is pretty much all pins and needles right now. It, yeah, it just, it just feels like Novocaine or something. But when I touch up over here, it's very sensitive where it actually stung me. Hurts like crazy. Tip of my finger feels like it's about to explode, like lightning's coming out of it or something. But I mean, it's not debilitating. It's just very obviously something happened. I can you know, still move my finger. No issues with that. No headache, no nausea, no blurred vision, nothing like that. A little bit just kind of sweating, but I might have just been because I was nervous or <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but when it stung me, it hurt like freaking crazy. But, you know, within a few minutes, it, it, that had already started kind of dying down. And now it's just this weird kind of just feels like my finger's swollen to capacity, but it doesn't look swollen. And then just a definite, especially like right here in my wrist when I move it, I can just feel it's really tight. But I mean, I'm able to keep working. I am starting to feel, this is kind of weird, but the pain that's on this tip of the finger, I'm starting to feel it coming up this finger and a little bit over here, but the pinky's completely fine. But it's just more like it's just, it can almost like the venom's kind of moving throughout the hand. So it's a little pins and needly here, but it pretty much starts at the elbow. Like I don't feel anything in my shoulder or my upper arm or across my chest or anything like that. So, you know, nothing to worry about, I'm not going into anaphylactic shock. It has made me kind of question some of these videos that I've been watching. Like I'm not gonna name anybody on my name, but I mean, you just get on YouTube, you see a lot of people getting stung or bit by a scorpion or a spider and just really reacting insane. Like this didn't drop me to my knees. I didn't lay on the ground <laughs> writhing in pain. Yeah, it's pretty anticlimactic. It's it's uh I don't want to say I enjoyed it, but 
in a sense, I kind of did. I, I just feel like I got a lot of energy right now. So maybe I just need to get stung by a scorpion every day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't do that. These are the jerks that did it. And I just wanted to kind of touch base real quick because uh, I've kind of noticed something that this pain is coming in, in waves. So I just recorded a little bit feeling fine now it's kind of feeling like it's on fire like it's very warm and hot and a lot more sensitive but even i mean i just started recording and like walked in here and just doing that i can already kind of feel it starting to fade away again so i don't know what that's about but that's definitely happening uh i just gotta kind of hold my finger up like this <laughs> i'm doing fine doing well it just it's weird that it didn't hurt and now it's starting to hurt again like all the way like that whole muscle I'm trying to hold it again <laughs> it's not working let me, let me set this down somewhere it's hurting really bad right now at the tip of my finger and then it just kind of feels like i got fire going through my veins uh all the way over on the top we'll see where it goes from here now i've done a lot of stupid in my life when i was a kid you know i stuck my finger in an outlet before and it would shoot that electricity up your arm that is what I can compare this to right now. It feels like I stuck my finger in an outlet or something. Cause it's just kind of, I mean, that's what it feels like is just that electrical shock. This muscle now is really kind of hurting bad. Um, it didn't hurt this bad until just, just probably like within the past five minutes. It's not unbearable or anything like that. It just sucks. But probably the worst pain is right here, kind of in the joint uh, where my thumb and my finger meet. Uh, I don't know what that is, but the finger itself is irradiating. I thought that it would hurt really bad and wear off, but it kind of hurt really bad and then went down and then, then now this new type of pain's coming. This guy can just feel it kind of moving up my arm. From what I've been reading, if I was in Arizona, there's antivenom uh, widely available and it works really well. So I could just go to the hospital, get a shot, everything would be fine. But I'm in West Virginia. There's no anti-venom here and it's really not that bad. It's not life-threatening or anything like that. I think there's been two reported deaths since like 1968. It's very, very rare. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, I don't have any shortness of breath, no pain in the chest. I am sweating a lot, but you know, no nausea, no headaches, no hallucinations or anything like that. And it's pretty much regulated just to this arm. So, I mean, it got me good. I can still bend it. Like, I, I'm not too worried about that. I just can't feel it. And it, when I do that, when I bend it here, I can feel that pain right there. Like, and, and I was trying to type. And every time I would type and hit that finger, oh, it hurt bad. So I'm not typing. <laughs> and uh, so far, we're doing well. We're one hour in, a little over an hour at this point. So uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain everything's going to be okay. But talking to uh, Dr. Mo, I actually did a podcast with him and Coyote Peterson where we talked about getting in, in, envenomated and stuff like that. And, you know, he's out in Missouri, so he has some knowledge of bark scorpions and things like that. He was the one that told me it's like the most venomous scorpion in North America. But if that's the most venomous, then I think we're all going to be okay. If I was a kid, I'd probably be screaming. It wouldn't be fun. But as an adult, it's totally bearable. It's manageable. Just kind of sweating through my pits here. But other than that, I am fine. I got a lot more photos to take, so I'm going to get back to do that. All right, so we are an hour and a half in. We are 90 minutes in. I just read an article that was sent to me from Mo from Tarantula cribs dr mo and what it said is that the pain is severe for the first couple hours and then starts wearing off so we're like an hour and a half in it feels like it's wearing off sometimes but then i other times i just get this wave i uh, said so 10 percent of cases have uh, what feels like an electrical shock or burning waves of that going up the arm or the leg and i definitely am, am in that 10 percent. like i mean even as i'm talking to you i can just kind of feel just like <sighs> a very weird sensation this muscle feels so tight this side, no, it feels normal, completely normal until I get like right here on my arm and then that feeling kind of goes all the way over until about right here. So it's just, just this, this half of my arm. This half, completely normal. These two fingers, completely normal. My thumb is completely normal, except for like right here at the joint. These two fingers though, this is where I got stung. And this finger, oh, I just hit it. That hurt like crazy. Pins and needles, very numb. A lot of pain at the site, which I just touched again. Oh, this is just pins and needles. I mean, barely. But yeah, the pain is pretty much the, the worst of it is now on my wrist. I'm sweating a little bit. I feel like my heart's racing, like I got a lot of energy. But other than that, it, it just kind of feels numb. And like, like I just stuck my finger in an outlet is really the best way to describe it. I got shooting pain going up my arm, but I'm fine. I don't know how I look, but I feel like I'm a little pale. Could just also be the light in my pale skin. Uh, but this is the new setup for the podcast and for live streams and stuff like that. So yeah, that's this is what it looks like. You can't really see much, but there's a there's a camera there right over. Got all of this coming around the computer, and then 
Uh, this is the root. This is probably going to bother me for the rest of the day, but I have a feeling I'll wake up in the morning and it won't even be noticeable. I might just have some a sore arm or something. So that's what I'm hoping. But if anything else happens, I'll let you know. But I feel like I am kind of like through the worst of it now. I probably hit the peak and I'm starting to come back down. And I just wish I had another shirt because I really sweated through this one. It was my own stupidity. I put seven bark scorpions in an enclosure and stuck my hand in it without identifying where every single one of them were. But the most important thing, when I told Tarantula Cat that I got stung, first thing she was worried about is, is the scorpion okay? And yes, the scorpion was okay. I thought when I pulled my hand out and shook it, but just the way it felt, I felt like the scorpion stinger was still in there and I probably flung them across the room. Play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And this is my prize for the day. Stick your hand in a communal of bark scorpions, you might get stung. I, I have been bit by a snake and, and now I've been stung by a scorpion and oh man, it's starting to hurt again. Jesus Christ, I don't know why it does that. Like it was, I was feeling like it was over, like it was feeling fine. And, oh, now it's just like pulsating at the tip of my finger, just kind of waves of pain shooting down my arm. Like, oh Jesus. Whew. All right, and I'm like, I'm not trying to be dramatic. In fact, if anything, I'm trying to downplay it. Yeah, and now it's back to how it was five minutes ago. So that was just like this weird pain. But I, I can tell you now, this first joint, which, you know, if it stung me right there, this is like the first knuckle right below that, is starting to feel like I smashed it in a car door. I'm hoping that we are through the worst of it. All right, it's, it's happening again. We're right at two hours and now it just, all the bones in this finger just really hurt. And this is really sore. Still very numb to the touch. Still pain shooting down this muscle to my elbow, but it hasn't gone past my elbow. I'm just getting these like pulsating waves of pain and then fades off to nothing but numbness. And then back to pain and then back to numbness. Hopefully we are getting better. Yeah, right now it is really hurting. I just turned the camera off like 60 seconds ago. And I don't know if it's just because I've been typing or what, but oh man, it, it hurts <laughs> and it's still really numb. I can tell you the tingling is now entering my bicep. We're at two hours and five minutes and, and I'm starting to feel it right right here. So that's that's not fun. So I'm sitting here editing a video. Put my hat on so I don't blind you with my big bald head. But I've noticed something. I was actually uh, texting Brian from Tie-Dyed Tarantulas. And as I'm texting him, you know, I'm using my thumbs. I'm going like this. This thumb isn't doing what my brain tells it to do. I, I go to push the button and it, it just veers off. So I said I hit an F, I end up hitting a W. I mean, typing like this, I knew it was gonna be an issue because I can't bend the finger very well. I can't feel weird, ow! And it hurts really bad to touch anything. But this thing with my thumb is kind of freaking me out. But I can feel the pins and needles moving up my thumb and into my elbow is getting a little sore. And then I can kind of feel in my bicep some pins and needles and, and, and I'm still sweating like crazy. All right, so I just finished uh, editing a short reel, TikTok, whatever. The vertical video talking about getting stung. And while I'm editing it, I keep using the hotkeys on my keyboard and I use my finger a lot. Every time I push something, it just shoots pain up my arm. What I'm experiencing now is it's different. It's not a sharp pain. Now it's just a really dull ache. Obviously my muscles, but it almost feels like it's in my bones. Like my bones are on fire. Like my skin doesn't feel warm to the touch, but it feels like, if you ever touch like a hot stove, it feels kind of like a burn, but it's not on the skin. It's like under the skin. I don't know how to describe it. Like just touching the hair on my arm, I can feel it, it's painful. Ow, that hurts. Why does my hair hurt? Like, I don't understand it, but thumb is completely numb, finger is throbbing, this, whoo. I mean, stream pins and needles, like it's like it's falling asleep, but also was slammed in a car door. It's not even warm, whoo, but man, it feels weird when I touch it. Oh, ah, it's gotta stop doing that, stop touching it. But even just that, moving it, and it just shoots all the way up right to like the pit of my uh, elbow here. Man, my wrist is just really sore right now. So I really thought the last video was gonna be the last one that I make because I thought it was kind of going away, but now my my entire wrist is really sore. I mean, it feels like I sprained it or something. Like it's just radiating pain, especially right here. The tip of my finger is is very sensitive still. My elbow's starting to hurt a little bit as well. I am done for the day. I am, I'm gonna head home. I'll bring my camera with me just in case anything happens crazy overnight, but I seriously doubt it. I, I should be through it now. It can last between 24 to 72 hours. There'll be effects, but I think the majority of it were three hours and it, it should be, it should be getting, I thought at two hours it was peaking. Now I kind of feel like 
now it's speaking, so we'll see what happens. So I don't suggest doing it. I give it zero out of 10. It was not a fun experience. Still not a fun experience. I can shut all of these fingers, but this one is, is pretty much stuck here. And it's creating a lot of tension across the top of my hand. So this is very strange. It's very surreal feeling. My pinky doesn't have the pins and needles, but all, oh, I touched it again. All four, one, two, I'm not touching you, and you. Uh, so pinky's fine. We'll put the pinky down. These are all numb. The wrist is in a lot of pain. Feel burning here. I can feel the pins and needles moving up my arm, like to my armpit. I mean, it's like in my armpit feels pins and needles. And then right here in this area, so like right below the bend of my arm is really sore. And then it comes all the way around my wrist and then up my thumb, like, oh, that that's super sore right there. Ooh, all this right here is very sensitive, very pins and needles. Oh, it feels so weird. I mean, it's not swollen at all, but it feels like it is. I don't know, it, that doesn't make sense, but have you ever like had your finger really swollen and, and feels like the skin is stretching? That's what I'm feeling, but it looks perfectly normal. Like there, I don't even think you can really see much of a difference in those two fingers, uh, but this was stuck right there. Man, that guy, he really got me, he got me good. He got me good. <laughs> I'm out here on my front porch. I am home and I'm doing fine. Not sweating anymore. No headache, no nausea no double vision, none of those symptoms, but I gotta take my watch off because it hurts to wear it. Like just the way, ow, when I just hit my finger and it, it, yeah, so that doesn't feel good. I pretty much can't bend this finger at all right now. Like it just feels really locked up. So that's about it. I think I, I was stung multiple times because it's really sore right there. But then if I move it up a little bit, there's another little spot that's really sore. So I think, ooh, and like right there. So I think he got me two or three times. Probably know once this pain and numbness subsides a little bit more. These two fingers are fine. These three fingers, my thumb really hurts. I can't text at all because it just won't move laterally, uh, which is kind of frustrating. I get it to go up and down, that's about it. This finger's completely gone, this is really numb. Not gone, just not be able to be used. But the, what the concerning part is, I still got the pain shooting up my arm here, but underneath my arm, all of this, all the way to my armpit, it feels like I got a sunburn. Like that's really the only thing I know how to, to kind of compare it to. Like I can touch it, it's not red, it's not swollen, it's just really super sensitive and a little bit of pins and needles in the muscle. It almost feels like all this pain is on the skin, but it's really, when you touch it, it's in the muscle, with the exception of my finger. Like, it just throbs everywhere. And this muscle is all numb going all the way through here. So, I mean, if you just like rub your arm, you can feel those two muscles right through here, right through the fold. It's very uh, sore. Well, it's late. I'm about to head to bed, um, but whoever <laughs> published that website that said symptoms will be gone in one to two hours is full of because uh, I can barely move my finger at all. Like I can't bend it. It is extremely numb and there's like shooting like, I, I don't know, it's like uh, electricity shooting out. I don't know. It's like just a very sharp pain. It almost feels like my entire hand is on fire, but not like the skin is burning. It's more like the nerves are on fire under the skin. Very numb, burning feelings. Uh, kind of, my finger just feels like I slammed it in a car door. It's not comfortable <laughs> and I'm tired. So I'm gonna go get some sleep. Hopefully I'll feel better in the morning. <laughs> so it's been 19 hours since I got stung and uh, I am back here in the office. Last night, uh, after my last check-in, probably around like 1 a.m., I had some real bad pain, uh, kind of on my forearm. Briefly considered maybe going to the emergency room, but I was like, they're not gonna be able to do anything, but maybe give me some muscle relaxers or something. Mainly just the concern was I was having some like uncontrolled controlled muscle spasms in my in my hand, like my thumb and my pinky were just kind of twitching a little bit. My worry is that since everything's kind of been slowly moving up my arm, I was afraid it would get to my chest and maybe mess with my heart or my lungs, but that didn't happen. Woke up this morning, pretty much all the pain is gone. I just feel numb from the tips of my fingers all the way to my elbow. Really no pain. Uh, maybe if I touch something with the finger that got stung, then it kind of feels like electricity shooting through my finger. There was a moment last night, I woke up maybe around 2.30 or something. It didn't feel like electricity. It was that kind of pain it was more like if you pour a soda over ice and you're just watching the cup and you see the bubbles kind of fizzing up it was a lot like that but instead of bubbles that was like the bubbles were like the pain so it was just this weird effervescent feeling like in the nerves so i was doing some research today and i thought this was kind of interesting it says that the arizona bark scorpion its venom contains a neurotoxin that increases sodium channel permeability resulting in sodium channel activation and cell membrane depolarization after envenomation symptoms may May begin immediately and progress and peak to maximum severity within several hours. It may persist for one or two days. 
The patient often presents with severe sensitivity to touch, the sight, numbness, tingling, anxiety, nausea, vomiting, and blurred vision are all common. So I didn't have any of like the hallucinations, no nausea, no blurred vision, nothing like that. I do think he got me a couple times. I was confused because the first information that got sent to me was saying the symptoms will persist for like two hours. So I was kind of wondering what that was about, but it looks like they, that was a website in Arizona and they were talking about uh, if, if you go to the hospital and you get the antivenom, all the side effects will kind of subside within a few minutes and then within a couple hours, it's like it never happened. So since I don't live in Arizona or Mexico and I don't have access to the antivenom, that's not an option for me. So I'm just kind of going through it, taking some Tylenol here and there, taking some Advil, but really it's fine. It's just. I just feel numb. It's really weird holding this camera. <laughs> All right, so this is the last update. It has officially been 72 hours since I got stung. It's about three o'clock on Monday. I didn't do any updates yesterday, Sunday, just because I was at home and running around, but essentially the only thing that was different was the tip of my finger was like, pretty much just my finger was numb, everything else was fine. Today I woke up, my finger is only numb in the top part. So just this little kind of section right here, I can bend it all the way, I can fully use it, I can touch stuff, and it doesn't have shooting electrical pain, but it does feel dead, like it, it just is numb. No pins and needles, just, I don't know, like it's got a, a really big callus all over the finger, I don't know. But everything else, the knuckles, the arm, everything else is fine. It's been crazy experience, it was uh, not something I wanna repeat, not something that I suggest any of you all do. It was a complete accident, and if anything, it really reminded me how important it is to be mindful and in the moment, focused on what I'm doing and taking my time, especially when I'm working with venomous species. I think in this instance, I was more focused on getting the enclosure set up right as well as filming the video. And I just, I, I cut a corner. I, I didn't double check. I just assumed everybody was on the bottom and I paid the price. I, I got a good sting and it laid me up all weekend. But even at that, I can still work. I can still go to the festival, like the fall festival with my little girl. And I kept banging it because I couldn't bend it. So it was just sticking straight out. I kept banging it on everything. That was frustrating, but my fault. Lesson learned, be careful with those Arizona bark scorpions or any venomous species that you're working with. I will say, uh, as painful as it was and as annoying as it was and as long as it lasted, I mean, we're 72 hours in and I'm still kind of feeling the effects, but nothing like it was the first day or two. It didn't kill me. It didn't even knock me down to my knees. I don't think it's as bad as some people say, but it's definitely serious. It's definitely something to be careful and uh, try to avoid getting stung by the Arizona bark scorpion.